Welcome to Talking Voiceovers, where we interview professionals of the South African industry and hope to inspire all newcomers. Today's guest is Aurélie Stratton, writer, director, producer, photographer, and voiceover. If you're someone who wants to be a voice artist, I would say my advice, make sure you have a lovely reel showcasing what you can do. Go on to Voice Me, pay for a subscription, get your stuff up there. You've got to play to your strengths. If you're very good at doing a young voice, get those reels up that showcase what you can do. And make sure your agent knows what you can do. If you're very good at an accent, at a specific accent, make sure you've got a reel showcasing that. Do you think that getting acting training is essential for doing voiceovers, in your opinion? I think certainly it helps if, you, if you're voicing an animation. It's not that you need to have acting background, but it just helps you crack it easier. It's a beautiful thing about studio. You don't have to learn any lines. You can just have it on a piece of paper. <laughs> yes. For what you get paid and the amount of time you have to put towards it, voice work is such a great thing. You know, the last job I did, I think I was in there for half an hour. The more fingers in, the more pies you have, the more chances of you making money. If you are a performer, you need to have a voice reel. I've met some actors who don't and I'm like, why? So they're just actors and they've never tried voice. Nothing beats going into a studio and working with an engineer, you know, because it's working with people and stuff. There's a studio in Randburg in Joburg that does a lot of the dubbing stuff. Basically, you work with an engineer. You go in every day. I had four characters. So you would do four hours and your engineer would be there. So he wouldn't really direct you. Of course, everything is bigger and better in America. South Africa is opening up more and more to the rest of the world from an entertainment perspective with things like Octopus Teacher winning the Oscar. I think they're going to start looking for South African voices. There is a demand for South African voices. I would say to anyone wanting to be a voice artist, make sure you've got a neutral voice. This was just a snippet. For the full interview, find Talking Voiceovers on YouTube and on your favorite podcast platform.